Hey there, friends, it's Walt. It seems like the entire world is watching as this ship, this massive cargo ship, interestingly named the Ever Given, is sideways in the Suez Canal, blocking the global supply chain at a cost of billions of dollars a day, untold cost to the owners and with ripple effects that may go on for months or years. And I got thinking about the Ever Given and how it applies to each one of us as I was having a conversation with this older gentleman who is super smart, super talented, and stuck by virtue of his crippling self-doubt. And I think that every single one of us from time to time has a blockage in our Suez Canal that keeps things moving and prevents us from really living our very best lives. And those blockages have many manifestations, but I think they fall into maybe four general categories. One, of course, is fear, that thing that is hardwired into us from the times that we were out on the savanna worried about the woolly mammoths um, chasing us or eating us. That fear that is kind of hardwired into our DNA can take over. It can rear its head as fear of failure. What will happen if I fail? Or it can rear its head as fear of success. What will it mean if I become a quarter million dollar earner or I have a best-selling book or I create this amazing company or this extraordinary product or program? Or it can be fear of what will other people think of me if I go out and do that? How will the world see me? So fear is one thing that can block our canals to our best lives. Doubt is a second one. Uh, doubting your ability, your experience, your training. Doubting your capacity to stay in it, to stay resilient as you drive forward. That self-doubt can be paralyzing as it was, as it is for this amazing man I was having the conversation with, just this paralyzing doubt that is clogging his ability to step into his very best life. The third thing I think that can get in the way is our beliefs about the world. Is the world a hostile world that is out to get us, that is conspiring against us, and as a result, we get small? Or is the world an abundant place, an abundant universe that conspires in our favor? Our belief about the world can clog our ability to step out and step up in a big way. And the fourth category, I think, of things that tend to clog our Suez canals are the rules that we create for ourselves, the rules that we make up for ourselves. Like, to be an athlete, I have to have an athlete's body. Or, do you believe that to be a writer, you need to wear a beret and uh, spend an entire season at Harry's Bar on the Grand Canal in Venice in order to be a writer? Or, could you just be a writer if you wrote once or twice a week on a regular basis? To be successful, I have to work harder, I have to work longer, I have to work faster. That's a rule that people have and it's an interesting one because, you know, that's kind of like the water pushing against the ship, sometimes just releasing the pressure of pushing against something will open it up and open up the flow again. And so these rules can prevent us, can get in the way, can clog up our lives. Now, 
What we know from the Ever Given experience is that time is not your friend, that time costs money, that time is lost opportunity, that time will have ripple effects if you wait to unclog or can't unclog the Suez of your life. So I would invite and encourage you that if you identify with one of these things that may be clogging for you, that you go out and work with a coach or work with a mentor, join a community of support that will help you because we're better together. It's very hard to stand on the bridge of the ship and do nothing. And that costs you and it costs the world, it costs the people that you are meant to give and serve to. So the opportunity of waiting is way too high. Now, none of us escape the clogged canals and each one of us has an opportunity to take action. And that always is the antidote. So make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.